Kia ora, hey, what's happening? Um, I'm Mr. Mark, aka Loggy Log, aka MC Slave of the Mighty Fat Freddy's Drop, and we're here at the Freddy's HQ in Wellington. The boys are recording, new album, in the other room, shh. But uh, it's just been brought to my attention that, uh, based on a true story, this album was recorded 10 years ago. And uh, so I was thinking about stories about that. And um, well, first part of the story is that I actually was in, uh, I would actually sat up all night with, with, with Moose while he did the final mix of that album. And I remember feeling like from, from the subterranean studio on, the, on the, the, the subterranean underwater studio in Lyle Bay, that, as, that, that night it was like, it was definitely going to be a seismic, cause seismic activity around the world. And it did. So that, that's the first part of my story. The second part of my story was at the same time I worked at Bass FM. Uh, with my man Otis uh, during the breakfast show and we sort of we, we, we developed the rumour that there was uh, burnt copies had been leaked of the album and were being sold at the markets the Avondale markets and perhaps the, the Otara markets in South Auckland by a woman that uh, a Samoan woman that looked incredibly like DJ Fitchie um, and yeah that there were these bootleg copies and we really sort of spread the rumor. It was sort of like industry people were getting, were, hey, how did, that, how did it get out? How did it, leak? how was it leaked, you know? And uh, I guess this was on the days before Facebook and stuff like that. So everybody was like, well, oh, no, the Freddy's album's been leaked. And we started this rumor. And then, um, uh, yeah, it, 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 we even had, um, bar, there was a few misprints, you know, bad covers. And we, we even, um, of the, based on a true story, we presented them as being actual physical proof of these burnt CDs being distributed around Auckland. So yeah, if this, um, if you look in the Wandering Eye video, in the about, about a, at the about 30 second mark, you'll see the Samoan woman who sells the bootleg CDs. Have a look for yourself in the Wandering Eye video. Anyway, that's history 10 years ago based on a true story. Ooh.